Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this special episode titled Brokers Scam Part 2. The last week, I came out with a video how five different ways the brokers can cheat you and I thought I have to share some more things that happened in my life and that is why I am coming out with this part 2. The first thing is that whenever you trade in stock market, you check the contract note, you pay brokerage that goes to the broker and you also pay GST, GST and brokerage that broker will have to collect from you will have to pay to the central government. In addition to that, there is something called STT, Securities Transaction Tax. Broker will collect from you, will pay to the central government. And there is something called Stamp Duty. The broker collects from you and has to pay to the state government. And few years before, and different states were charging different stamp duty for stock market transactions. Some were charging zero, some are 50 rupees, some 100 rupees, some 200 rupees. Some people 100 rupees uh, per crore but subject to a maximum ceiling of 100 rupees and so on. And I remember the Tamil Nadu was charging 50 rupees per crore. And then at some point of time, the state government has written to all the brokers that we are revising this stamp duty from 50 rupees per crore to 600 rupees per crore which was the highest in India and no other state was charging even 25% of that. And what happened is some brokers have filed a case in high court stating that nowhere in India the charges are so high, it is so unfair and the high court said no until the case is completed the status quo has to be maintained. So that means all the brokers were collecting uh, and paying to the government only 50 rupees per crore. But let me tell you, all the brokers uniformly were collecting 600 rupees from the clients. I questioned to my broker, why are you charging 600 rupees? Then they show the circular from Tamil Nadu government. See sir, Tamil Nadu government has sent the circular, you have to collect 600 rupees, you have to pay 600 rupees. But they will show you only that. They will not show you what happened after that, the high court uh, statement. And even I threaten my broker, I will be complaining to um, Tamil Nadu state government. And I just said, if you are really collecting 600 rupees from me, and if you are really paying 600 rupees to Tamil Nadu government, show me the proof. And he said, no, we are not obliged to show the proof. Then I had to break the relationship with that broker. And that was one big scam I know in stock market and all the people were charging 600 rupees from Tamil Nadu traders and paying to the government only 50 rupees, the remaining 550 rupees they pocketed and that was really unfair. And then what happened at some point of time, the central government has announced that they are bringing uniform uh, collection, uniform rate all over India for stamp duty. And now what happens, you pay to the broker and the central government collects it and distributes to uh, state governments. So now the problem has already uh, automatically sorted out. But those brokers who collected extra margin during that period, they all, it was a daylight robbery. And nobody can question. And let me tell you, I am not talking about small, small brokers, regional brokers, I am talking about national brokers who have presence all over India. They also indulged in this kind of practices. So that is number one I wanted to share, but which is not relevant right now because that problem has been settled. I had another experience. One of my friends was trading in a uh, low cost broker and what happened, I am just giving an example, Okay, I am not giving the right figures. Uh, he had about 6 lakh rupees in his account. He took long position in 5 lots. The margin money is 5 lakh rupees. So still there is extra 1 lakh rupees in his account to take care of MTM losses. That was during coronavirus period, markets were volatile and the company sent a mail. Because markets are volatile, we want uh, you to keep minimum 25% as a cash to take care of the MTM losses. If you don't keep, we will square up the position tomorrow morning. And unfortunately, my friend has not seen that mail. 
the next day what happened the market gap down right and he has got only 1 lakh rupees mtm uh, to take care of mtm but the company said 25 percent which means it's 1.25 lakh it's just only 25000 less what this broker could have done out of five lots he could have squared up only one lot you square up one lot one lakh margin will be released so effectively there will be 2.2 2 lakh rupees uh, extra cash 4 lakh rupees is a margin still 50 percent that they have not done they have squared up all the five lots and that also my friend has not noticed it by the time he saw that message at 11 o'clock the market has already shot up and it was 50,000 loss in the morning on all the positions squared off the same 50,000 has become profit by 11 o'clock and my friend has lost 50,000 and he called the broker then they were so cool to say that sir we don't have option like that we just instruct the computer to square off everything just imagine if somebody has positions for 100 crore and they are saying that you know you must keep minimum 25 percent 25 crore M, uh, to take care of mtm let us say you got one rupee less these people will square off 100 crores worth of positions at 915 at the market rate and as i told you last week in india many many people they just want low brokerage and how much low brokerage okay but they don't understand the what are the other problems that are coming into this and let me give you third and most important once upon a time that means few years before how the system was working let me tell you whether you are selling at the money or out of the money or far out of the money the margin money will be the same for all strike prices margin money will be same if 1 lakh means 1 lakh is the margin money for all the strike prices now let us say you sell one lot of option at the money option maybe you may collect 10,000 rupees premium I sell one far out of the money options I may collect only 1000 rupees premium right so when you look at the ledger the next day it will tell you 1 lakh is the margin money 10,000 rupees is the premium collected so your total margin requirement is 1 lakh 10,000 and in my case what it will show the margin is 1 lakh rupees the premium collected is 1000 rupees so 1 lakh 1000 will be the total margin so that means 1 lakh 1000 will be blocked from my account for the trading purpose but from your trading 1 lakh 10000 will be blocked so that means margin money which is a basic margin money plus the premium both will be blocked that is fair but what happened in the last few years the nsc has changed the rule they are not showing margin separately and option premium collected separately they integrated both into one that is why now if you see if you are selling far out of the money option i am selling the margin will show 1 lakh 1000 and if you are selling at the money the margin will show 1 lakh 10000 so because now the way the nsc works is like this your basic margin plus the premium that is equal to the total margin and it is shown then the next day you watch the ledger it will not show 1 lakh margin 10000 premium it will not show like that it will show margin 1 lakh 10000 okay this is a change but 99 percent of the brokers in india what they do now when you are having a trading terminal they are following the old system because the nsc file shows margin money is 1 lakh 10000 they are blocking that 1 lakh 10000 also plus the 10000 premium also they are blocking so that means they are blocking more money from trading now the 10000 may look very small to you but for the big people who are trading in hundreds of lots so 100 10000 extra money they block matter is over we get less opportunity for trading and the worst thing people who tend to trade in long term options where the premiums are running into thousands of rupees if tomorrow you sell one short straddle in nifty uh, in the december expiry the premium collected is about one and a half lakh rupees and for this the total margin money by the exchange is let us say it is uh, basic margin is about two lakh 
the premium collected one and a half lakh rupees. So, the total margin is three and a half lakh rupees. Instead of 3.5 lakh rupees, this brokers they block 3.5 plus 1.5. If they charge 1.5 lakh rupees extra margin for one lot, if I do 100 lots, that means they are charging 1.5 crore extra margin money. Then how can I lose the opportunity cost for trading that 1.5 crore? And I can tell you 99.9% .9 of the brokers in India, they do this. I, I won't say this is a scam, right? But maybe they are not knowledgeable or even I try to teach many people, they just don't want to learn and they are doing it in a wrong way. So the first one I told you, it was a clear cut scam and they are charging higher stamp duty. The second one I said, you know, some brokers, low cost brokers due to the lack of uh, employees they just use only the systems to decide everything and they do all kinds of things and the third one i said maybe we i won't call it as a scam but most of the brokers tend to charge extra margin money so as an option seller you will not be able to deploy or maximize your uh, uh, return you cannot efficiently deploy your money to maximize your return. So, these are the problems. And last week when I posted the video, sir, you are saying so much. And I have faced a lot of problems. And let me tell you, and uh, zero the, okay, uh, the promoter is Nitin Kamath. Somewhere I read about him. And he was a trader once upon a time. And he got fed up with the brokers and later in his lifetime, so he thought, I faced a lot of difficulties with the brokers. Why not I become a broker and why not I serve the people and without those difficulties. And in a matter of 10, 12 years, Zerodha has become number one broker in India. See the people sitting in 30 years, 40 years, even 100 years, brokers, they are not number one and young guy. Okay, we just started 10 years before he has become number one. So, there is, that shows, you know, how much other brokers are unfair to the people. But now, Zerodha is also having some problems. Uh, that's a different story. But uh, Zerodha having some problem because they have grown out of proportion. So, that we will talk in a different video. Right? So, last video, uh, the people said, sir, you are complaining about the brokers. So why don't you suggest as a good broker? When one guy asked me, sir, who is the best broker in India? I just said, just for fun, uh, I'm yet to register as a broker, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm seriously thinking of uh, setting up a broking firm, all right? So who knows, uh, in another 10 years time, I may give a tough competition to Zerodha. Yeah, that is just for fun. Right. And uh, below this video, in the description, you can see uh, a Google form link. Okay, So, if you want a broker without all these problems, you can just fill that Google form and we will get back to you, we will talk to you and we will find we have type with a few brokers. And depending upon your capital, your trading style, your location, your preference, we can suggest some brokers for you and of course, there is some self-interest also. Uh, if you register through us, we will also get some subbroking amount. Yeah, but let me tell you, we don't do this only for money. We really want to serve the people. And of course, uh, we are not running charity organization. So we will also be making money out of that process. And let me tell you one thing, many people in India, they think making money is sin. You come to my Twitter handle, you can see all kinds of hate messages. And let me tell you, making money is not sin. Making money by doing some fraudulent activities or doing unfair trade practices is sin. Right? So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.